In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your physical Xbox 360 games, games on demand, and Xbox Live Arcade games for use in Xenia emulation. All right, everybody. So in this video, we are going to be talking about backing up your physical Xbox collection, as well as some digital titles to use in Xenia emulation for both PC and Xbox Series X and S. Now, one of the nicest things about this process is Microsoft has given us a way of backing up almost everything without even needing a modded console, and it is super awesome. So this can be done completely on a stock console, but there are a few games where this method will not work with, and that will require either a modded console or a 0800 drive to dump games with a computer. But for the most part, this method should work with an overwhelming majority of Xbox 360 discs, and then of course all of your downloaded games on demand and Xbox Live Arcade games will work as well. But let's go ahead and get started. So to get started with this process, we just need a USB drive that is under two terabytes. Some of the last system updates for the Xbox 360 gave the system support for external drives up to two terabytes in size. So for today's example, I am going to be using a one terabyte external mechanical hard drive and I'm gonna connect it to my 360 and that is what I'm gonna to use to back up all of my stuff. So again, this could be a flash drive, hard drive, SSD, shouldn't matter a whole lot as long as it is under two terabytes. Once you have the drive connected to your 360, just head over to your settings page, system, storage, and you should see either your hard drive pop it up here if it's already in FAT32 format, and if it's not, you'll see something here that says unformatted. So make sure you are selecting the proper drive here, and then just go ahead and get it formatted. So this is formatting my one terabyte external hard drive here to use on my 360. And there we go, 931 gigabytes of free space to use to store games. Beautiful. So let's talk about backing up digital games first. So if you head into your internal hard drive here on your Xbox, games and apps, you can begin backing up your Xbox Live Arcade games as well as any games on demand titles that you might have. So for example, let's just go ahead and back up Asteroids and Asteroids Deluxe, cause why not? Copy that over to my USB storage device. There we go. And now Final Fantasy 13 2, that is a games on demand title, so I'm just gonna go ahead and back this one up as well. But anyway, now moving on to backing up your physical Xbox 360 discs. So for this, just insert any game that you want to back up into your Xbox 360 disc drive. And once the game information has finished updating there, just press X to go into game details. And you'll see the option here to install the game. If instead of seeing an install option, you see a delete option, that means that it has already been installed to your hard drive and you could just copy it over to your external drive. But if you need to rip a new disc, you just click on the install button here and then choose your USB storage device for easier access. And then just wait for it to do its thing. Now, once again, not every game is able to be installed like this. There are a number of exceptions, I believe Crackdown being one of them. And then for any games that have a second disc, like say the Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition or Oblivion Game of the Year Edition, and you have all those DLC packs that you can install from a second disc, you just run that installer on the console itself like you normally would, get the content installed, and then copy it over to USB. And once the installation is completed, just press A to continue. And you can begin backing up other disc-based games if desired. So I'm just gonna do a couple more here. But once you're finished backing up your disc-based games, you can just go ahead and turn off your 360 and move your USB drive over to a computer. And once you load up the drive on a computer, you may notice that it's a bit empty. And that's because the content folder for Xbox 360 stuff is hidden. So you just have to show hidden files and folders on your computer to get access to the drive's goodies here. So Windows 11, view, show, hidden items. And now you'll have a content folder right here. And opening up the content folder, you'll see a nice big long 00000 number here. 
And inside we have all of our game files that we copied over to the drive and they're organized by content ID number. So unfortunately you're gonna have to manually rename some stuff. So thankfully, thanks to the Xbox database here, link to this will be in the description below. You can copy in the folder ID number here and figure out which of your games is in which folder. So there we go. The first folder is Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary in my example. So what I like to do in these instances is just type in, type in a name there, but also keep that product code. It's just really convenient to be able to know what they are at a glance rather than having to load them up. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for all these now. And there we go, now all my games are named. But just gonna get all these copied over to my computer. So that way we don't have to try running them from an external drive. I mean, you can if you want to, but we don't have to do that on the computer side of things. All right, now that that transfer is complete, let's show how to load these up in Xenia, shall we? So I'm just using Xenia Master. You can use Xenia Master or Xenia Canary, shouldn't matter. I just had Master already on my computer, so we're using it. So anyway, loading up into Xenia. All of these games that we have just copied over will work in the format that they have already been provided in, the Games On Demand format here, as well as Xbox Live Arcade, of course. But go to Open, navigate to a game. You'll see a subfolder in here. You'll see that there is just a file right here that's just a bunch of random numbers and letters. Select that and load it up and your game should now load up as expected as long as it's compatible with Xenia in its current state. So here we go, Dead or Alive, load it up. But yeah, Dead or Alive 4 up and running in Xenia. Very cool stuff. Sort of glitchy on this build. This one's better on Canary, that's for sure. But anyway, gets the point across that it loads up. And then it crashes. Awesome. Anyway, load up another one. Go ahead and grab Halo CE Anniversary. Here we go. So yeah, there we go. Halo CE Anniversary, the new mode doesn't look quite right, but you go to classic graphics and hey, all of a sudden it looks like Halo. Very cool. So here we go, Final Fantasy 13 2 games on demand that I purchased quite a while back, and it's now up and running on Xenia on my PC with just a simple file transfer. And now for my Xbox Live Arcade game that I backed up here, just launch the file, and there we go. And that was just a beautiful showcasing of gameplay right there. So again, if you're using Xenia on PC or Linux, you could just leave things in games on demand most of the time, and you only really need to extract them if they just outright refuse to boot in games on demand format. Then you can convert them to ISO or XEX. But if you want to run them on Xbox Series X and S using the Xenia emulator for UWP, the games on demand format is a little more particular. It can work most of the time with the retail games on demand games, but for installed games, so the ones you back up from your physical Xbox discs, seem to be a bit more particular about working and they are better off in extracted format. So there are a number of different ways to get your games on demand games into ISO format or extracted format. I'm still working with uh, God to ISO personally. So, so I'll have a link to this page where you could download it here. So just get this one downloaded. And then you need a way to extract the Xbox ISOs after it's done. So I like to use Extract XISO. It's very convenient, works really easily for me. But again, there are many different programs that can do these functions. So use whichever one floats your boat. These are just my two examples because they work for me. But with these programs downloaded, just need to get them extracted. So I'm just gonna do both at once here with 7-zip. And just extract to their own subdirectories, there we go. So God to ISO, I'm gonna add in all of my retail games here. I don't need to do Final Fantasy 13 2 technically, but I'm gonna do it anyway. But anyway, to do the conversion process, open up God to ISO. 
And then you just add in your game packages. And you can do multiple at once here, which makes it nice and easy. So you just select that file like you would if you were loading it up through Xenia on PC. There we go. And once you have all of your games selected and they're showing up in here, you can choose your output directory. So I'm just gonna do it to my desktop. There we go. And now just press go. And it will convert all of your games into ISOs. Now, unfortunately it does create the ISOs with the names of the files that you added to the program itself. So you will need to go through and rename your ISOs again. And there we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close out of that. And just as another demonstration, these are also usable in Xenia on PC and Linux as ISO files. So like just, okay, drag one in there. And you'll see that they'll still boot up. Now again, unfortunately, the Xbox Series X and S version of Xenia can't use ISO files either. So again, they do have to be extracted. So just gonna drag my ISO files into extract X ISO here and then just drag them one at a time into the program and it will extract them into their own folders named after the ISO. And there we go. Now they are all in extracted format. Their executables are default.xex. And once again, these are now usable on Xenia as well. So you could just go in, select a game, grab its default.xex and launch it right up. Now those are converted over to extracted format and they will now be usable on an Xbox Series X and S using the Xenia for UWP emulator. So to now get these playable on Xbox, so you just need to add them to your properly formatted Xbox USB drive that you use for emulation. So I have that right here. There we go. So I'm just gonna drag these four folders in. And there we go. And now I was gonna add my asteroids to my Xbox Live Arcade folder. Perfect. All right, now over on the Xbox, gonna get my USB drive plugged in here. So, go. There we go, detected. So now I'm just gonna boot into Xenia, make sure everything is being seen that I just added in. So I previously set up my games paths over here. But anyway, you can see that my Dead or Alive 4 here, Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, Final Fantasy 13 2, Halo, and time shift, everything is showing up very good. So let's just give these a quick test here. So Halo C Anniversary, one of the disc-based games I backed up here, now in extracted format. And it is now running on the Xbox Series S through Xenia Canary. Well, that was much too laggy to enjoy. So how about some demo of Dead or Alive 4 real quick, as that was another one of the disc-based games that we backed up using that install method. Again, it actually is running on Xenia Canary without a ton of graphical glitches on like Xenia Master, but there we go. And then for my Xbox Live Arcade game, we have Asteroids and Asteroids Deluxe here again. So, hey, there we go. So there we have it, an easy way to get your physical Xbox 360 library backed up and usable in emulation projects such as Xenia on PC, Linux, or Xbox Series X and S. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it helps you get your Xbox 360 emulation projects up and running to your liking. But here at the end, I do have a couple of big favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like dislike button, depending on how much you like today's tutorial, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel, you can check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content directly to you. Big thank you to every single one of our backers. You are all amazing. Thank you for believing what we do here and helping us keep it going. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.